I got a new bag it's from VanQuest. It's called the Ibex 20. It's a 20 liter backpack. It comes in wolf gray and I think Kylie Brown. Um, but if you go to the website, you can check it out. So here it is in wolf gray. It's only 20 liters. It's pretty small. Now it has the standard VanQuest sort of accessories. So you have a waist belt and it's velcroed to the backpack. So if you want to remove it, you can. Um, their belt buckles have a third detent right here. So squeezing the sides doesn't unlock the whole thing. You have to push this button down here in the center and then the buckle, buckle will, un, will come undone. The sternum strap has emergency whistle right there. Sternum compression straps. Uh, shoulder straps are all padded and there's mesh for ventilation. The bag has three carry handles. One near the top, middle, and two on the sides. So you can always carry the bag how you see fit. Okay. There are two compression straps on each side, and this shock cord basically compress. If you want to carry like a backpack or something, or sorry, if you want to put compress a jacket or some kind of clothing or bedroll, whatever you want. You fit here. There's some Velcro here and a little strip here. They changed their logo on the bags a little bit. Rather than have a panel that's sewn on, it's just embroidered straight onto the bag. There is a small pocket up here for small items. Um, since I like firearms, I'm going to show you what this, gun, what this bag can do with guns. So I have my little SIG P938 in here. It's not a very large pocket. Um, like I could probably fit two hands in here, and that's about as far. This is as deep as it goes, but it goes from all the way from side to side, and a little bit back in here. Okay, you have some molly on the side. If you want to attach it, I'll probably put a bottle holder there to keep the bottle on the side, and maybe a small pouch, uh, maybe like an IFAC or something like that. Going back to the shoulder straps, you do have these support straps. I don't know the right name for them, but when you wear it, you can cinch them down and get the weight off the shoulders and pull the weight more towards, I think, the front of the straps is how that works. You have sewn in nylon webbing to attach whatever you want, daisy chain basically, a daisy chain all the way here. You have this Velcro loop because if you want to run a hydration bladder like a cow back or, or a source bladder um, you can run it inside the bag and it'll come out through this little hole and you can run it down and link it up onto your shoulder strap. Uh, shoulder straps of course detachable, attachable buckles and the um, extra tether on the straps um, have a little velcro to roll them up and keep them nice and tight. Um, so, into the bag. So, the bag has these ITW big pole zipper pulls, uh, which are nice, but you don't really need them. Uh, right here, the zipper is just like on the Racket 36 bag I have, it is a locking YKK zipper. So, when they're closed, you can actually lock this. Um, but this design, um, there's other bags out there that do this. Arc'teryx has one like it. Um, but I, li I like this I design, is you can just pull then this whole flap will come down. But I still have these compression straps attached. So just to show you that if I just want to come get into my bag real quick, I can still access stuff from the top. There's another pocket right here, about the same depth and width as the one on the front. So you can keep small items there. And basically because this basically almost like a roll top rolls up and over, um, those items will only occupy the top part of the bag and won't take up space in the main compartment as much. Uh, so once you undo the compression straps, then the whole bag will just unzip itself. And you can see I have it stored with a lot of stuff. Um, it's perfect for carrying a small PW, uh, SBR if you have an SBR. This is just a, my Scorpion pistol. Um, if I had a folding stock or if an SBR or a folding brace, it would still fit in here just fine. I don't have a folding brace. Um, set that down. I do have this, my Chris Vector. 
uh, airsoft. Um, my real Chris Fikers of carbon will fit in here, but you get the idea. Uh, little SBR submachine gun fits perfectly inside this backpack, and it's not very big. Um, so it's real easy to hide, and you can fit all your accessories in here. In the side pockets, I didn't show those, Chris Max. So you can fit quite a lot of stuff. Not quite a full-size handgun, uh, but you can fit, you know, probably like a medium or a compact, like a MMPC or FNSC. Uh, definitely you can fit this little guy in there without any problems. And you have those pockets on both sides of the back, here and here. More Chris Mag. So the whole interior of the backpack is lined with Velcro. And these are some of VanQuest's accessories, like their Velcro holster, okay, and magazine or flashlights, whatever you want to attach in there. You can just swap it out however you want. Now this is a this is one of VanQuest's little pouches they make, but this is their new Mall Air adapter. Now the bag is normally has Molly webbing on it. So you use Molly pals or whatever you can to attach it to Molly. But with this, it's just a giant panel of hook and loop, and there's Velcro strips that you weave through the Molly. And so now you can just stick this wherever you want, um, and you can get more of these. And if you have pouches you want, you just stick it on the inside of this bag, and then it'll just close, and then boom, it's already there for you. These black compression straps I got off my Racket 36 because I want to try out how this would work with you know, a small weapon um, and it works pretty well. You don't have to use them, obviously, um, but I want to try it and they do offer, they do have these daisy chain uh, webbing in here for that purpose so you, you do whatever you want with it, um, but yeah. There's also a Velcro loop right here for your hydration bladder. So you can attach it there and the hole, as I said earlier, goes through here. Now there's no uh, separation, there's no partition for the hydration bladder. I kind of wish there was. Um, if I was going to carry all this stuff and a hydration bladder, I don't want my gun rubbing up against my hydration bladder. Um, something else I would have liked um, alongside with an additional panel for the, or additional pack, partition for the hydration bladder would be a rigid insert. Uh, there's no support on, of this bag other than the stiffness of the Kodora and the immense padding that you have in the back here. I would have liked a hard sheet HDP, I think it is, a nice rigid plastic sheet to run in here um, just to give the bag more support. Oh, to give you an idea, here's another gun. Asian K416 pistol by Umarex. Yes, this will fit and close. So, a, P a uh, ARSPR, I don't think is going to fit in here. Maybe with a law folding adapter, and if you had a real short barrel of like, I don't know, six inches, uh, that would probably fit with the stock folded. Uh, otherwise, you're not going to get an AR in here. Broken down, you could. Um, yeah, obviously you can get too broken down, but even a 16 inch upper, it's too long, but it's about here, it won't fit in this bag. Now this is the Ibex 20, they do make an Ibex 30, and I think they're working on an Ibex 40 or 50, I forget, but they're making a bigger one. But the Ibex 30 came out first, and this is the new, smaller one, petite one, called the Ibex 20. I kind of wanted to try the small one, because um, I'm tired of having big backpacks, and I want to really see how small this could be and would it fit all this stuff in here. And as you can see, that's a lot of stuff. I mean, a full-size 45 ACP handguns in there and a little PW uh, pistol, Scorpion, will fit this foot in there. So whatever you want that's about 19 inches, this is 19 inches tall, um, you can fit in here. So you have a lot of choices, a lot of options. And I like the Velcro lining. You can basically put wherever you want, wherever you want. 